Hi and welcome. My name is Stuart Fisher and I'm Technical Marketing Director here at Cisco. I'm here today to present our Pico S product to you running on this hardware assisted Trust Zone supported tablet. Um, this tablet traditionally would run Android as an operating system, um, but today we'll be running our Pico S virtualization product um, hosting Android as a uh, guest operating system. Um, we utilise the, the Trust Zone technology that exists within the ARM processor running on this tablet to provide us with an extra level of separation between the software entities that, that run. Um, we'll show you a demonstration of, uh, of performance of Android, what you can expect to receive from uh, an Android running on top of a, a virtualization product uh, such as Pico S. Um, we'll also show you uh, a demonstration um, of um, a, a small cryptography example of how you may use uh, a crypto running in the secure world, uh, providing data to a non-secure world, um, as in the Android operating system. Um, Pico S has been developed for many years to be a safe and secure uh, software platform um, whereby we can host multiple levels of safety criticality or security criticality on the same CPU and the same piece of, of hardware. Uh, recently we've received uh, the world's first multi-core certification so we're, we're the only company that has a product that has received uh, multi-core certification in the safety arena uh, whereby we use more than a single core to run our software but still have it certified to SIL 4 certification. Um, we're leveraging that type of technology um, here today with the Trust Zone technology to show you how you can support that type of environment running on a tablet environment uh, whereby you have multiple applications, some non-secure, some secure and how they can communicate with them. Um, if there's any questions following this video um, please feel free to email me, I'll provide my email address at the end of this and um, I hope you enjoy, thank you. Okay, so first of all, I'll actually show you the, uh, the tablet booting. Um, so I'll actually uh, start it by pressing this key sequence on the side of the, uh, of the tablet itself. Um, so first of all, now we're actually starting to boot Pico S in the background. Um, Pico S will then initialize itself uh, and then we'll initialize the trust zone environment. And then as you can see, it's, uh, it's already started the guest operating system, um, Android um, on the tablet. So there's no visible signs of Pico S other than um, um, seeing uh, maybe from a serial port some diagnostic information um, to, to, the, uh, to the user of the tablet, you simply see the guest operating system boot. Um, so once that Android has started, I can, uh, I can log in um, and for anybody who's used Android, um, this will look uh, a very familiar display. There's no, no difference, the fact that Pico S is running underneath this, there's no difference the fact that we're running on a trust zone environment. Um, to give you some idea of um, maybe graphics performance, um, I can uh, simply start up a, a movie for you so that you can see um, the type of performance that you, uh, that you will get from, uh, from Android and uh, running on, 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 on Pico S. And I think uh, for anybody who's, uh, who's seen this clip on a native environment, you'll see that there's actually no degradation whatsoever. Um, it's um, the rendering is, is perfectly good. Um, the uh, the visibility and the, and the movement of the graphics is uh, it, there's there's no delay and there's no um, there's, there's no lack of real time um, in in that uh, in that display. Um, that just gives you a, an idea of, uh, of graphics uh, support. Um, if we go back to um, to the actual main screen, I'll um, show you actually now that some of the, the Pico S um, side, so you may have noticed the, the icons on the front here, one of these is a Trust Zone demo. Um, so if I go into that Trust Zone demo, um, first of all this graphic shows you um, the, actual, uh, the actual environment um, of, uh, of Pico S um, running on the Trust Zone architecture. So here we have the notion of, of, two, of two worlds. Um, one of them is a, is a secure world and one is the non or the normal world, the non-secure world and, um, and in this example um, you can see um, where Android is running in the normal world and Pico S is running in the secure world. Um, in this demonstration example what we're actually doing is providing some very basic cryptography in the secure world so we're going to pass some data from the normal world into the secure one using communication channels we then expect that secure world to do some level of cryptography on it. Um, in terms of what we're doing here today, is that simply to change the case of the text that we send? So if we send uppercase, we'll send back lowercase, and, and vice versa. Um, 
but I think you can see how that could be a, a far more challenging uh, crypto engine providing uh, any level of, uh, of, in, of encryption to, to data that's being passed. So it's important that that is run in the secure world because you don't want somebody to uh, to, to impair your um, your actual cryptography or find out what your cryptography is. So that's uh, secured in the secure world using the, the Pico S uh, separation kernel. Um, and then we're using Trust Zone to, to separate that from Android running in the normal world. Um, so to, to see how this works, um, we, we can simply send um, a ping message um, from, uh, from, from, this, from one side to the other. Um, so you'll see at the top of the screen, um, if I press ping on here, you'll see that they've actually got some communication with um, the, the secure world. So that was simply sending a communication message from normal to secure, and we got a response back that that was, that was okay. Um, so we can, we can do that a couple of times, so you'll see from the screenshots that I've embedded into here what's actually happening um, behind the scenes. Um, we can then actually type some information into the, um, into the actual um, front end part, so remember we're typing into Android because Android is the thing that's driving this display uh, and then we'll ask it to do some cryptography. So it sent that information to uh, Pico S running in the, uh, in the secure world, it's run its crypto on it and it's provided the, the, the results back to the normal world to Android and it's displayed it as a uppercase. Um, we can show that we can still ping um, from, from one to the other. Uh, we can go back and add some extra text in here. Maybe we now want to put some, uh, some uppercase um, is, as our front end and we want to run some uh, cryptography on that. So you'll see that we have reduced that to, to lowercase. So uh, nothing, um, nothing massively challenging in terms of cryptography, but I think you'll see how this environment can be very powerful and can be used in much more uh, real world examples. Um, so again, we can uh, send our ping information, we can um, delete some of our text, ask it to do a recrypt and, uh, and it's done that. And uh, yes, once again, we have, still have communication. So um, albeit simple in terms of the application that's running, I think from an environment point of view, you can see how this is very powerful. Um, not only are we separating out the software entities, we're also separating out the, uh, the actual devices and the CPUs. So any CPU zero is used by Secure World, whereas the other three are used by the normal world. Uh, remember, Pico S is fully uh, multi-core SMP uh, uh, enabled, so uh, we provide um, full support for, for multi-core. Um, and also now in the, in the safety critical world with our SIL4 certification. Um, we also separate out devices, so the Ethernet and Serial 1 is only known to the secure world. So Android has no knowledge of those devices, it can't use them, it can't see them on the bus. Um, and these devices here are, are, are known to Android. Um, so it's, it's a very separated environment. Um, actually, uh, Android itself has no knowledge of, uh, of Pico S running uh, uh, alongside in a secure environment. So it prevents hackers from uh, being able to try and um, open up channels between, uh, between software that they believe to be there. Um, so hopefully that will give you uh, an insight as to, as to how this software, um, what, what this can bring to the community and what it can provide in terms of a, a separation um, a platform. Um, both for, so remember this is targeted at both security and at safety. Um, going back to the previous screen, um, I think you'll see that um, actually for any native um, Android users, you actually see no difference at all in the Android environment. Um, it, it's uh, it's fully supporting the, uh, the, the the complete native uh, native environment and the, and the actual native um, um, build that was run on here uh, is is unmodified. It's simply uh, an Android uh, an Android executable. Uh, we just happen to have run PyCOS underneath that. Um, if there's any questions, um, I'll leave my email address at the end of this video. Um, and I uh, I hope you found it useful and I look forward to hearing from you. Thank you.